know about you a little bit. So you been you been schooling the young fella? Yeah, I've been trying. I've been getting everybody. I'm trying to get everybody the same thing. How is it, man? How is it being the, the the senior on the team now? And you know, this is kind of this is like this is like your team. Yeah, it's it's, it's definitely my team, and I can feel the effects of it because everybody looking up to me. All the younger guys they ask me questions, and it's a good experience because last year we really didn't have no leadership on the team, and they didn't, I could have been a leader, but they didn't want the young guys to lead, I guess, and the seniors wasn't having that. So this year we, I, I feel like I I'll be a better a better leader to the young guys because they ask me a lot of questions and I got a lot of answers to them. So. That's funny that you that, that you say that. So nobody wanted to let you lead last year. No. I mean, but you but you probably were the leader. Yeah, we, we had we had good players, but they just didn't have the leadership qualities that you needed to be a team of the next level, mm -hmm. next level caliber. So, do you think that um, the effect of the twins coming off that season, you guys just won? In the following year, people kind of feeling themselves, or was it just just different? More or less, I guess it was. It was more of a. I guess you could say that. I guess you could say that they had maybe egos. Maybe I would say, but I mean, I ain't gonna take that away from the game they had. But it's just they. It seemed like they had egos. They had more freedom to do stuff. Yeah. So. No, no, who who y'all speaking about? I'm confused. Uh, the team. The oh, the team in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the team had egos. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, because obviously, I mean, the years you got, the year you guys won it all, mm -hmm. and the previous year, were, you was a, were you a freshman that year? I was a freshman year? that year, and then went to state. And Did you play on varsity that year? No, okay. So you obviously you you were you were the same freshman asking questions, looking up, mm -hmm. you know, to those guys, and then. You are definitely an intricate part of that championship team, um, and then obviously you kind of have had a breakout year. Talk about your summer playing with the hoops and um, just the experience of, of being on that stage and um, the experience of doing that as well. This EYBL. Some people who don't understand the EYBL be like, ah, oh, this is the EYBL. I'm not really like, nah. Nobody really understands the Nike circuit. Is is as far as the atmosphere when you first walk in, you see the difference because. As the coaches, the scouts that they have say live period, you see, it's not it's not assistant coaches, it's not scouts, it's head coaches along those walls, and it's four, it's two, three, four rows deep of, of college coaches, and, and that's just for the coaches aspect. The environment that you play in, it's a, it's it's always a beautiful gym, and the competition level is like no other, cause it's like guys they were. Every, it's like a nationwide thing to want to, to wear Nike, so it draws the bigger players. So I mean, there's other there's other circuits like Adidas circuits that have them, but whereas the competition level, Nike brings in those those premier athletes and you put them all on one court and play against each other. It's like it's no other experience. There's nothing like it, and a lot of people don't really realize it until they get to experience it for themselves. Because it's, it's kind of just like the word of mouth. Mm -hmm. But when you see pictures of it, you see the actual environment, you see the difference. It's a big difference. Young fella, what's up, man? <laughs> How are you uh, enjoying? I guess the the experience of, of playing on varsity. I mean, you got the photo shoot, so you obviously must be putting in some work. And what have you learned from Juwan? Um, I just learned from him to um, go hard every time in practice and uh, just be the best you can be in anything and in, in, in everything you do. And uh, stay humble, cause a lot of people they just want to doubt, they want to get you down in your game or say, man, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. So I'm just trying to learn from the older guys and uh, be the best I can be. Now, obviously, as a, as a senior, you're gonna rely heavily on this guy to cause to he, help you. You're gonna he, need him. He bring a lot of scoring to the table. Cause we're losing Tyrone and as a, as a shooter. He's bringing a lot of scoring. We got a bunch of we got a, we guard heavy this year. We got a bunch of guys that can shoot, but as far as all around scoring, it's this guy. Hopefully, he can he can he can withstand his role on team and play a big part for us this year. So. One thing I've always noticed about younger players is they always got the mind frame of I got three more years, where this is his last year. So how are you going to be able to? Instilling him like I need you today, like not 
next year because I'm not going to be here. So I think a lot of times, you know, like, you know, the window was closing for you. It's wide open for him. So how are you able to kind of get guys that are younger than you on your level and have a sense of urgency? I talk to him about that all the time, actually. I, I, I try to get – and it's usually, it's usually asking on my play. They usually see how important it is, the sense of urgency that I try to play with, and everybody usually follows me. And I usually don't have to say much to it, but I talk to this guy about that a lot because I, I only got a year left and I'm trying to go out with a bang. I don't want to. I don't want to have an early exit in the playoffs. We've been not making playoffs this year because I mean it's my senior year, and it's really my team. And for it to for us to go out early like that or not even make the playoffs, it says a lot about me and how my leadership skills. So I just I just like to let those guys know that a lot of that stuff is I'm not gonna say it all relies on me, but as far as being the leader of the team, I will say that I take the blame for that. So absolutely. Um, rec recruiting for you. How was that? How was the process? I, mean, I don't know it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and, and how did you come to your decision? And was it important for you to, to make the decision early to kind of get out of the way and kind of focus on school? Um, recruiting for me, it, it was definitely a, a weird experience. Because for one, for one, I don't want to be sound like the guy that, that's not satisfied or unappreciative. But I feel like I was under the radar. I was, I was uh, just under-recruited. But... Whereas the decision that I did make, it was a little bit of an important decision to make because I didn't know if I was going to lose or say I was to get hurt and I'd be waiting and then I'm not getting anything. But we were stayed. I took that visit. I, I didn't take any more visits. I took that first visit. And those guys, they fit me. It was a bunch of, it was like five Texas guys on the roster. And when I went there, it was a bunch of guys that are just like me. And they got to win. It's a winning tradition there. It's a basketball place. So when I made that decision to Weaver, it was just because it fits me. I was the beast that they were missing. So those guys made me feel like I was at home, whereas other schools I wasn't a priority there and it wasn't it wasn't the same. So it, it had a lot to do with fitting in because that's what it was when I went there and I seen that right away. So I was like, I, I think I should just go here. I didn't take any more visits. Now obviously you that's like far from your mind, right? Yeah, like I don't even know what this dude talking about. I ain't might recruit me. But when it starts happening, because it's going to happen quick. I'm sure you can remember being in that same seat and being a freshman and looking up to, um, you know, Aaron and, and, and Andrew, and then they gone, and then, like you said, Tyrone. So, like, it's going to happen at a rapid uh, pace. Do you think about recruiting and all of that stuff, or are you kind of like, you know, let me just take my time and, and do things accordingly and let it come when it comes? Well, I just take my time, you know, just play my game, and you know, that, that stuff will come. And, uh, just keep playing how I play, work harder, and um, keep improving on my game. Last thing, man, just um, give me your Twitter handles, your final shouts out, and friends, and hey. Instagram. Follow me on Twitter, Juju Almighty, and my Instagram, Juju Almighty. Uh, strap up, because it's coming. Follow me on Twitter, KBNGB24, and Instagram, KBNGB.24.